Good morning, all you wonderful people of Baton, Louis, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. My name is Lorenzo. I'm from California. A friend of mine is out there visiting Baton Rouge. Um, he went out there on a little vacation to visit some friends of his who were hit by that uh, terrible flood. Um, <clears throat> I just want to give you guys a little word of encouragement today. I, I want to lift you guys up. Um, he sent me some pictures of the devastation and, and things that have taken place over there. I, I can't begin to understand and, and say I, I totally understand what you're going through because I, I don't I don't imagine what it's like to wake up and, and my house be totally flooded and everything that I owned gone. But what I do know is that we serve a mighty God. We, we serve a God who knows everything about us from the time we're born to the time we die. I do understand that we, we serve a God who is amazing beyond our understanding. And I want to give you guys a little word of encouragement today out of the book of Job. Uh, the book of Job is a great book. Um, this book is an amazing book. Um, it's an amazing book because it's an amazing story about an amazing man. Uh, this man, Job, was a righteous man in the sight of God. He did absolutely nothing wrong. Much like many of us who, who try to live and work and survive and make ends meet every day. We work and work to try to get things done. But we do also know in the book of Ecclesiastics, it talks about a time for everything, a season for everything. Uh, there's a season for everything in our lives. And sometimes those seasons include us going through some storms, going through some things where we feel devastated and lost and, and without hope and, and wondering why did we have to undergo this circumstance and situation. It, it leaves us bewildered. I've gone through many situations in my life that I couldn't begin to understand as to why was I in this place? Why was I going through this situation? But as I understand who God is and as I dig into the Bible and I dig into the Word of God and I surround myself with believers every day, I begin to understand who this God is. He is an amazing and outstanding God who has never forsaken us and never will leave us. In the book of Matthew in chapter, uh, uh, chapter 11 verse 28 it says, Bring thy burdens to me when you are heavy laden and I will give you rest for my yoke is light hallelujah meaning when you're tired and weary take what you have to god bring it to god and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray and begin to seek the face of god because god will never give you more than you can bear he will never hand you more than you can bear i i know this because i've gone through many situations in my life and god has never crushed me i, I was perplexed and I was feeling like I was crushed on every side. But I got through it because God was with me. In the book of James, it says, Count it all joy when you're under trial and tribulation and persecution. How do we do that? Well, let's go to the book of Job and find out. Because in the book of Job, he underwent all of these things and he survived. We'll start in chapter, uh, uh, not chapter, but uh, verse 1. Chapter, uh, verse 1. Chapter 1, verse 6. I apologize. I'm a little tongue-tied. It's early in the morning. Chapter 1, verse 6. We all know the story of Job. And if you're not familiar with it, just know that Job is a righteous man. But here we go. In verse 6, it says, One day angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on him. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright man who fears God and shuns evil. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Have you not put a hedge of protection around his household and everything he has you have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land but now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has and he will surely curse you to your face the lord said to satan very well then everything he has is in your power but on the man himself do not lay a finger then satan went out from the presence of the lord 
See, we read that you are worthy of the trial that lies at hand, Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, the people of Baton Rouge, you guys are worthy of the task that lies at hand because God has called you by name. It was not the enemy or the devil who brought the name of Baton Rouge and the people of Baton Rouge into the hands of the enemy. God said, have you considered the great place of Baton Rouge? Have you considered the great place of Baton Rouge? And devastation has struck you guys. But you were called by the Almighty God. You were called to undergo this trial. Why? Because you're going to rebuild. Why are you going to rebuild? Because we live in this great nation called the USA. In the USA, we can overcome and rebuild in every circumstance and situation. We are not a poverty state. We are a state that rises above. Why? Because the dollar bill still says on it, in God we trust. 9-11 hit and we rebuilt. Floods hit and we rebuild. Storms come and we rebuild. Terrorism strikes and we rebuild. Hallelujah. We are a rebuilding community. Job is the type of man who rebuilds. All these things came. And as we read on farther, it goes on to talk about how Job all of a sudden got messenger after messenger after messenger telling him how he lost everything. Everything began to, to fall apart. He lost his, his children. He lost his home. He lost his cattle. He lost everything that he had. He had absolutely nothing. It was wiped out. The, the, the storm came and it wiped everything out that Job had. It was gone. Much like you guys in Baton Rouge, the things that you guys had are gone. But materialistic things will come and go. But the heart that is in you today, Baton Rouge, the heart that is in you, the heart that is in the people. And I know there's heart in you guys because I, I hear you guys cook some amazing food. I haven't got to experience it, but my buddy did. So, uh, you know, I, I hear the food is amazing. And people that could cook amazing food are usually amazing people. So Baton Rouge, lift yourselves up today out of the miry clay. Lift yourselves up and continue rebuilding even through the struggle of the tiredness and the weariness. Because when one man lies his life down for another, he helps that man up. And then that man in turn helps another man up. And now you got two men helping, two men and two men helping, four men and four men helping, eight men and eight men helping... Uh, 24 men and so forth and it keeps on going the mathematics keep rising the more you help the more you'll rise above the circumstance job said naked from my mother's womb in verse 20 it says job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head and fell to the ground in worship and said naked i came from my mother's womb and naked i will depart the lord gave and the lord has taken away may the name of the lord be praised Hallelujah. See, we got to continue to praise God even in the worst of our circumstances. But you know what? Baton Rouge, I believe today that you guys can rise up. I believe you can rise up because when you begin to help each other out, there's no stopping you. There's no stopping you and there ain't nothing that can come in your way to keep you from be building. New Orleans did it. All these great places have did it. Florida has did it. Hallelujah. Mm, we live in an amazing country. A country where we are unstoppable. We can overcome the circumstance in every situation. Hallelujah. I I'm telling you guys today, Baton Rouge, I believe in you. I believe in the power of God in you that you guys will overcome the circumstance. Hallelujah. I know that God is greater. I know that God is good and he's working in your guys' lives. Even though sometimes we don't see it. But that's the wonderful thing. We have to press through because if we didn't have storms in our life, there would not be growth. If you look around us, all the trees and the birds and everything that we have, there is a season. There must be a storm. There must be rain. There must be water because water produces. What does it produce? A harvest. It produces a harvest. We've got to have storms in our lives. You've undergone a storm, but it's not the end. It's not the end. Job was devastated, but he never lost faith. He never stopped trying. He never gave up. Even to the point when people began to tell him, even those that loved him, told him things. In verse 9, we read that it says, His wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Baton Rouge, maintain your integrity. Don't give up hope. Don't curse God. 
Don't curse him and just move on and press on because God is good. He says, his wife said to him, are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. Job replied, you are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? In all this, Job did not sin in what he said. Should we accept all the good in our lives but never accept any bad? Absolutely not, Baton Rouge. Absolutely not. My heart and my prayers are for you guys. I don't know you guys, but I love you guys. I, I, I am praying for you, and, and I'm believing a miracle moving hand of God in your life. I'm believing that God is going to move in miraculous ways. But we must step out in faith and begin to lift each other up. We must step out in faith and begin to lift each other up. And we must begin to help one another. If the man next to you helps you and you help the next man next to you, by the time you guys get done helping each other, you guys have got a squad of hundreds of people. Hallelujah. So Baton Rouge, today, I encourage you. Today, I encourage you to gather around each other and lift each other up. Don't sulk in your pity because the enemy wants us to be cast down and soak in our own pity. To be, woe is me, tired am I, oh how I've lost everything. But when we begin to praise God, let me tell you something. Things begin to rise up. Things begin to break. Chains begin to break. Paul and Silas got thrown in prison. But if you understand the story of Paul and Silas, they got thrown in prison and they were chained to the wall, but they did something. They began to praise they began to praise the Lord in the midst of their trial. And in the midst of their trial, a violent earthquake came and broke the chains. And all of a sudden, they were set free. And they were, re re they were brought back to this new place. Hallelujah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got thrown into the fiery furnace. But over their faith, hallelujah, they walked out clean as a whistle. Not even a burnt hair on their body. Because they were faithful. Daniel got thrown into the lion's den because of faith. And believing and trusting in God that he would get through the situation. The mouth of the lion was shut. Hallelujah. Mm. Much through faith. Much through faith today. So Baton Rouge, I encourage you guys today. I encourage you guys today. To help each other out. Lift each other up. Don't be downcast. Because you guys are a great people. You guys are a great people and I look forward to the opportunity one day to come out. And just love on you guys and hug you guys. Even help you guys in any way that I can. I look forward to that day. And the food too. My buddy sent me a picture of the alligator. It looked pretty good. So I look forward to all that stuff. That was a joke. <laughs> But anyhow, Baton Rouge, I love you guys. You guys are an awesome people. A wonderful people. A soul-filled people. I encourage you guys today. Father God, today I, I bless the people of Baton Rouge. I, 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 I decree the blessings of, of, of your love and your grace and your mercies and your hands extended upon these people, Father God. May you love them and may you encourage them today. May you encourage them, bless them, Father God. Those who are hungry, feed them, Father God. Those, Lord, who, who are tired and weary, give them strength. Those who are, 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 are lost, Father God, bring them to a place where they are redeemed. Father God, I, I pray for the people of Baton Rouge that, Lord, you would just bring encouragement into their lives. That you would just love them and encourage them and lift them up, Father God. Send people their way that would help encourage them. Send people their way that would help lift them up. Hallelujah. For Father God, you are an amazing God. And Lord, today, I thank you, Father God, for this opportunity to bless these people, to minister to them, and just to love on them. May you encourage them today, Father God, and lift them up. I just thank you, Father God, Lord, that you would touch them and provide for their every need. Through the storm and, and through the goods and the ups and downs. Father God, we, we, we came naked and naked we will live. You've given and you've taken away. But Lord, the heart no man can touch. So today, Father God, I thank you and encourage them. Lift them up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.